Dr. Beta. So, the last lecture is comprised of how exactly steroid hormone agonists and antagonists are used in chemotherapy. So, use in neoplasia. Neoplasia is the abnormal growth of cells. So, the use of these agents in neoplasia is often predicated on the presence of hormone receptors in target cell and on ability of the hormone to stimulate or inhibit cell growth. In the former case, hormonal antagonists are used. In the later, hormonal agonists are used. So, we will talk about adrenocorticosteroids, which you have studied in a lot of depth already. So, adrenocorticoids are lymphocytic and anti-mitotic agents. So, these can be administered orally. They are useful in treating acute leukemia in children, malignant lymphoma, and both Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Adrenocorticosteroids have significant systemic effects and their long-term use is not recommended. Then we have mitotain. So it is an oral agent specific available for the compassionate treatment of inoperable adrenocortical carcinoma. So it inhibits glucocorticoid biosynthesis and selectively causes atrophy of the tumors within zona reticularis and fasciculata. Nausea, vomiting, lethargy, and dermatitis are common side effects. CNS depression is the dose-limiting toxicity. Then we'll talk about serms, which includes tamoxifen, toremifin, uh, ter reloxifen. So the serms, which is selective estrogen receptor modulators, are drugs that have estrogen receptor agonist or antagonist properties depending on the tissue target. So in breast, tamoxifen and teramifin and reloxifen are estrogen antagonists. These agents inhibit estrogen dependent cellular proliferation and may increase the production of growth inhibitor TGF beta, which is transforming growth factor beta. Tamoxifen and teramifin are used in postmenopausal women with or uh, recovering from metastatic breast cancer. Tamoxifen and reloxifen are used as prophylactic agents in women at higher risk of breast cancer. Moderate nausea, vomiting, and hot flashes are the major adverse effects of tamoxifen. Endometrial cancer and thrombosis are potential adverse effects of long-term therapy. In anti-estrogen, we have fulvestrin. So it is an estrogen receptor antagonist used to treat breast cancer. I'm sure you all are right now kind of recalling the drugs that we studied in one of our few lectures where we discussed endocrinology, right? Okay, so now we have gonadotropin-releasing hormone analogs. So these agents are peptides that on long-term administration inhibit luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone secretion from the pituitary and reduce the circulating levels of gonadotropins and consequently estrogen and testosterone. The use of these agents result in castration levels of testosterone in men and postmenopausal levels of estrogen in women. So these agents are effective in treating prostatic carcinoma. They are also used for treating breast and ovarian cancer. Initial administration of these agents before pituitary receptor desensitization occurs may result in increased LH and FSH release 
with a transitory increase in testosterone and an exacerbation of disease. They are often administered with anti-androgen glutamide, bicalutamide or nilutamide which block the transportation of androgen receptors to the nucleus and thereby prevent testosterone action. So, the Garelix is, an, uh, is a G GnRH antagonist that is used to treat advanced prostate cancer. It acts more rapidly than GnRH agonist to reduce gonadotropins and androgens. Then we have aromatase inhibitors. So, anestrozole and litrozole are reversible aromatase inhibitors that have no effect on synthesis of steroid other than estrogen. They are used as an adjunct of postmenopausal women with ER positive early breast cancer, women with breast cancer who have progressed on tamoxifen and as first-line treatment of ER positive or ER unknown advanced local breast cancer. An adverse effect of these drugs is hot flashes and vasomotor symptoms. So long-term effects include osteopenia and osteoporosis. Eximistan inhibits aromatase irreversibly. This agent is used for treating postmenopausal women with breast cancer who have progressed on tem uh, tamoxifen. Eximistan does not exhibit cross resistance with other aromatase inhibitors. Its side profile includes hot flashes and fatigue. Then we have androgen antagonists. So, flutamide and bicalutamide are competitive antagonists of androgen receptor. Lutamide is an irreversible inhibitor of the androgen receptor. These agents are used in combination with either chemical or surgical castration for the treatment of prostate cancer. Adverse effects are due to decreased androgen activity and include fatigue, loss of libido and impotence. Other adverse effects are decreased hepatic function and GI disturbances. Thank you so much, everybody.